Ever wondered how El Nino and La Nina influence our global weather patterns? Well, let's dive into it. El Nino and La Nina are recurring climate patterns that happen across the tropical Pacific Ocean. They are the warm and cool phases of what's known as the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO cycle. Picture this, El Nino is the hot-headed sibling causing warmer than average sea surface temperatures. On the flip side, La Nina, the cool and composed sibling, results in cooler sea surface temperatures. These might seem like subtle changes, but they can have a significant impact on global weather and climate. The ENSO cycle, including its neutral phase, is like a seesaw that constantly shifts the balance of temperature and precipitation patterns around the world. So these are not just fancy Spanish names, they are mighty climate phenomena that can turn our weather topsy-turvy. Now let's delve into the science behind these tantrums of Mother Nature. El Nino and La Nina, though varying in their characteristics, are both products of the same underlying meteorological principles. They are born out of the complex dance between sea surface temperatures, atmospheric pressure and oceanic wind patterns. Let's start with the sea surface temperatures. In a normal year, the trade winds blow westward across the Pacific, pushing warm surface water towards Asia. This creates a buildup of warm water in the Western Pacific, while cooler water rises up to replace the displaced warm water in the Eastern Pacific. However, during an El Nino event, these trade winds weaken or even reverse. Warm water that was pushed towards Asia begins to slosh back towards the Americas, raising the sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific. This change in temperature distribution affects the atmospheric pressure above, leading to shifts in weather patterns. On the other hand, during a La Nina event, the trade winds are stronger than usual. This results in an even greater buildup of warm water in the western Pacific and cooler water in the eastern Pacific. This causes changes in atmospheric pressure and consequently weather patterns, but in a different way than El Nino. Now let's talk about atmospheric pressure. The changes in sea surface temperatures during El Nino and La Nina events impact the atmospheric pressure above the ocean. In an El Nino event, the warmer water in the eastern Pacific causes the air above it to rise, creating areas of low pressure. Conversely, during a La Nina event, the cooler water in the eastern Pacific leads to high pressure areas. Lastly, we have the oceanic wind patterns. The changes in atmospheric pressure during El Nino and La Nina events impact the direction and strength of the winds, which in turn influence the movement of the ocean currents, creating a feedback loop that further intensifies these events. Just like a seesaw, it's all about balance. And sometimes nature likes to tip the scales. So how exactly do these oceanic divas stage a global weather drama? Let's dive in. El Nino and La Nina, the notorious pair, are essentially the mood swings of our planet's climate system. They're part of a natural cycle known as the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO, which can cause significant shifts in weather patterns around the globe. But how? Let's start with El Nino, the warm phase of the ENSO cycle. When El Nino struts onto the stage, it spreads warmer than usual sea surface temperatures across the equatorial Pacific. This warm water heats up the air above it, causing the atmosphere to become more moist and unstable. This in turn can lead to enhanced rainfall in some parts of the world and drought conditions in others. On the flip side, when La Nina, the cool phase, takes the spotlight, it does the exact opposite. It cools the sea surface temperatures in the same region, which makes the atmosphere above it drier and more stable. This can lead to increased rainfall in certain regions while others experience drought. But what about the impacts on specific weather events? Well, El Nino and La Nina can be real game changers. They can influence the formation and intensity of hurricanes in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. They can exacerbate wildfires in places like Australia and California or intensify monsoons in South Asia. They can even contribute to extreme snowfall in North America and Europe. The influence of these climate phenomena is truly global, from causing torrential rains in the Andean highlands to triggering severe droughts in the Horn of Africa. Their impacts are felt far and wide. But let's not forget that these weather events are not solely the result of El Nino or La Nina. They are part of a complex web of climatic factors, and these oceanic divas simply play one of the leading roles. So next time you hear about El Nino or La Nina in the news, remember their global weather influence is far-reaching. They can turn up the heat, or they can give us the cold shoulder. But in the end, remember it's not personal, it's just weather.
How do scientists predict these climatic mood swings, you may ask? Well, it's not magic or guesswork, but a fascinating blend of observation, analysis and technology. The key indicators that scientists use to monitor and predict El Niño and La Niña are sea surface temperatures and atmospheric pressure. When the ocean's surface heats up or cools down significantly, it's like a red flag, signaling that a change in atmospheric pressure is underway. This shift can trigger either an El Niño or La Niña event. Now, why is predicting these climate phenomena so critical? It's all about disaster preparedness and response. Accurate predictions can help us brace for potential floods, droughts or extreme weather events. It allows us to manage our resources more effectively, prepare our communities and ultimately save lives. In essence, scientists are our climate fortune tellers, predicting the future by reading the signs of Mother Nature, but remember their crystal ball is made of data. Just like fortune tellers, scientists read the signs, but their crystal ball is made of data. Now let's take a quick walk down memory lane. El Niño and La Niña are not new kids on the block. They've been influencing our global climate for centuries. Let's take the Super El Niño of the late 90s, for instance. It wreaked havoc across the globe, causing severe flooding in South America and devastating droughts in Southeast Asia. On the other hand, the La Niña of the early 2000s intensified the Atlantic hurricane season, leading to some of the most destructive storms in history. These historical occurrences are not just mere anecdotes, they underscore the profound influence these climate phenomena have on our weather patterns and subsequently our lives. From floods and droughts to hurricanes and wildfires, El Niño and La Niña have their fingerprints on some of the most extreme weather events in recorded history. History, as they say, is our best teacher. When it comes to weather, it's no different. 